picture here. Hey. Christian, look at Precious. She is just so precious. Thank you so much, Kelly and Dave, for sending this in. Dog walking forecast today. I think you'll like it. We do have the clouds. We will have some sunshine and we will have those temperatures that are going to be nice and seasonal as we go into the afternoon. So we are starting out on the cold side of things today, but those numbers will bump up nicely before it's all said and done. This morning we've been dealing with a little bit of patchy fog out there. We've been dealing with temperatures that are at freezing, sub freezing. So watch out for some slick spots, but at least we are on the dry side. Yesterday we got a little over about a half an inch of rain at BWI. Dry conditions now and we will stay that way as we head towards your Friday. So we can see the big picture at this point. We are sandwiched in between two systems and uh, the one yesterday that cold front that's already down off towards the south of us, uh, causing a few problems back across the Carolinas this morning. And then we're waiting for another front to move into the area. It is going to be a very strong cold front that moves in as we head towards your Saturday, and that's going to be bringing us uh, some snow, some wind, a little bit of a wintry mix and also some rain. I'm going to break all that down for you in just a matter of moments, but the temperatures this morning are 32 degrees in Ellicott City. That's exactly where we should be now for this time of the year. So we're pretty much par for the course on these temperatures this morning, and that's the way we'll stay as we go into the afternoon. So the future cast, uh, what's it picking up on? Not a lot today. We're not picking up on uh, the rain, that's for sure. Getting a break from that, getting a break from it for your Friday, but we are going to pick up on the clouds. So we will see more clouds today, but with that said, we still are going to be dealing with some sunshine as well. So it's not like we're going to be socked in today or on your Friday. Now we talk about what's going to be happening as we go into your Saturday. So we do have that Saturday storm system that is going to move in and it is going to be bringing us some snow to the area, but look what's happening down off towards the south. A very potent storm bringing snow to us, uh, rain to us, and possibly some severe thunderstorms down off towards the south, and we could see some thunderstorms as well. Not thinking anything's going to be on the severe side of things, but thunderstorms nonetheless. So timing this out for you, we have that rain moving in as we go into the morning. So 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning, we could see some rain. It could be heavy at times, thunderstorms. This goes back into motion around uh, lunchtime, 11 o'clock noon, we could be dealing with the wintry mix and some snow moving in across the area as well as the temperatures will fall on your Saturday. So we'll start you out above freezing and that's why we start out with that rain and then the temperatures fall through the day. That wintry mix switching all over to snow before it's all said and done. In terms of the accumulation at this point, uh, everywhere could get accumulation, but it's likely of course that we'll see the accumulation back off to the north and west in the higher elevations at this point. So we're going to continue to monitor this for you. We still are a couple of days away, but we're also monitoring 10 days until spring. The countdown's on. I'll be showing you this until March 20th. This will be ushered in at 1133, and then we have the 60s as we go into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday.